Oh God, I know this was a sight. I know this was a sight for sore eyes. Lord have mercy. How y'all doing? What's up, family? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on. Let me welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Uh, let me do a little housekeeping here. Why well, I still got a little time here. Um, if you would like to converse and email me videos or any kind of content that you think that I should um, include in my stories or something that you find a perfect for the mental oh. house, please send it to me at Khadija Anwar at hotmail.com. Or mental house TV at gmail.com. Either one of those, the mental house TV at gmail.com or K H A D I J A H A N W A R at Hotmail.com. Either one of those will get your question or comment to me. Also, if you want to make a donation to the channel, we're still trying to get some lighting and some cameras going on here. You can make a donation to this channel anytime. You can do the Cash App and make that Khadija. K H A D I J A H 59. That's Cash App, which is dollar sign Khadija 59. Okay, let's get on with the show. Y'all, oh my God. I don't know if anybody has seen this yet, um, but. Naked Brown's defensive tackle, Malik McDowell, charged and tackled a cop before he was beat, was tased and arrested. And he was right in front of a preschool. Oh, Lord. But a, a footage before, an hour beforehand, shows him fully clothed and acting normally at gym. And that was an hour before. Maybe somebody slipped something in his drink or something. Anyway, Cleveland Browns defensive tackle Malik McDowell was released from Broward County Jail after setting his $27,000 bail on Tuesday night. He was arrested and charged with aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer, resisting arrest with violence and exposing his sex organs in public. I mean, and he was a big old burly man. On Wednesday, new video emerged showing him behaving normally at a local gym less than an hour before he was arrested uh, while walking naked near a school. What the? N more new video released Wednesday showed him charging naked at officers. The footage that corroborates officers claimed that he was violent with the deputy. Previously released footage shows the six foot six, two hundred and ninety five McDowell surrounded by police officers before being apprehended. McDowell's attorney claims someone may have drugged his client. I, obviously, they did. In twenty seven, he was arrested for DUI and disorderly conduct, and in twenty nineteen, he had a drunken brawl with Michigan police uh, and later received a two-game suspension. Did he take his clothes off in the, any of those violations? I mean, this is shocking new video has emerged of this guy. I mean, and he's a big old dude. It showed uh, TMZ published some footage on Wednesday showing McDowell casually greeting people at the gym, sharing a few hugs, and then less than an hour uh, later, 
He acting like that. Wow. A source um, close to McDowell has since confirmed the authenticity of that video. From there, the 25-year-old Detroit native reportedly went next door to take uh, to a hotel where he was staying in Deerfield Beach, Florida, to take a shower. Uh, McDowell then emerged naked less than an hour later and wandered over to the pre by near school, uh, uh, nearby preschool known as the Learning Experience. Oh my God. And they arrested his black self, running up and down the street with his genitals, his ass out, hanging everything, going crazy. Somebody slipped something in his uh, drink, I believe, or some something. This is just too rapid. Police have not accused McDowell of being under the influence of drugs, but his attorney suggested to a local media outlet that somebody may have slipped him something. Uh, they they showed him naked, being handcuffed on the curb, where he's surrounded by police, and they placed him on a stretcher and covered him with a blanket and reeled him away. At times, he could be seen smiling at the officer. Y'all know damn well somebody did something to this this man. As as I approached the defendant um, in sheriff. Uniform, the defendant stood up, looked at me, and said something to the effect, uh, Fuck you, the officer wrote. The defendant then charged at me at full speed with closed fists. The defendant intentionally rammed his body into me and began swinging closed fist punches at me, the officer continued. The punches were swung at extreme aggression, with at least one striking me on my eye. Temple of my uh, uh, temple area of my eye. When I felt the strike hit, I was dazed and felt extremely painful, and felt extreme pain as I was struck. Ultimately, the officer said he needed to use his taser to bring Mc down McDowell. This is the most insane picture of this big black naked man laying on the ground. Yeah, somebody, I believe somebody gave him a Mickey. That's what we used to call it back in the day. Slipped him a Mickey because it's too sick. Y'all follow this story, please. Look it up for yourself and tell me what you think about this man. And his ass all out, running up and down the street. You know, good and well, somebody did something to him. Uh-uh. I am so done. Okay, leave your comments below. I'll see you in the next video.